Today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Finland day. Ultimate Finnish food tour. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Very good. Very, very good. It's very comforting here. Something very festive about it. Reminds me of Thanksgiving, which is obviously not a phenomenon yeah. in Finland, but what kind of Christmas like? Good for a winter. Nice. Nice food. <laughs> I'm a fan. And you also got something else here on your plate. Mm. Would you dare to try it? I will. The meat jelly. What is that? Meat jelly? Yeah, meat jelly. We've seen this before in other places. Maybe not this exact version. Yeah. But this What's the jelly? Is that just like fat that's being like cooled? I don't know about this one. This is a very common like old school farm food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you get everything out of the animal, you get yeah. something like this. Uh, I might not love it. Not bad. <laughs> That's okay. No, not much flavor. Just like um, a bit of meat flavor, a bit of salty, but it's good. It, it's manageable. Mm. You can imagine not being on the old school farm. Your grandfather okay. makes some meat jelly and puts on a plate. Right, know? right. <laughs> Let me try this too, actually. You might love this too because it has more flavor than the previous The one. reindeer one. Yeah, yeah, try. Mm -hmm. I think this is pork. Mm. Wait, what's pork? Karelian stew. Oh, it's pork? Yeah. I thought it was reindeer. No, you had reindeer already. Oh, this is pork? Yeah. Oh, I, mean, yeah, I thought it was reindeer the whole time. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's pork. Oh, it tastes like pulled pork. Exactly. I was going to say, it's like pulled pork. It tastes like pulled pork. The texture is like pulled pork. But the taste is... I thought it was reindeer. I'm so... No. <sighs> it's bad. Karelian stew. <laughs> what does Karelian mean? This meat stew. Could be reindeer, actually. <laughs> yeah, but you've had... They can have two types of reindeer stew. <laughs> okay, so this Ooh, is soup. the reindeer soup. Yeah. Reindeer so soup. Can I just say I feel like they should have tried the soup first? Why have they had their why have they had their their, their their main meal and now they're having soup? Always start with the soup. It's a palate cleanser, as they say. Not that I'm not that I'm fancy, but they say it's a palate cleanser. You have the soup first. Uh, maybe have some bread with it. Um, yeah, but reindeer soup, that sounds delicious. And again, it's creamy. I have a feeling you guys like creaminess. Yeah, you like you guys like creaminess, right? Let me know in the comment section if you like like creamy things. Because I feel like the, your, the coffee he was complaining is too milky. So maybe you guys like your stuff quite creamy and milky and dairy. Let me know in the comment section. Had, but I never had yet. Yeah, okay, got it. This is smoked reindeer and cheese mm. soup. Cheese, cheese. Yeah, soup. I mean it's, it looks so cheesy. Yeah, right? cheese is right. It's so good, but I feel so guilty eating this Why? because it feels like I'm drinking cheese, uh -huh. like cheese sauce. You know cheese the cheesy sauce, sauce and reindeer soup. Unexpected, yeah. right? Tastes a little bit like you know the fake cheese sauce. Cheese whiz. Yeah, cheese whiz. Or the cheese that comes with the nachos. <laughs> yeah. Nacho cheese. Yeah. Nacho cheese, cheese and whiz. It looks like. See, we don't have that in the UK. Like cheese, you know, like fake cheese. Because I think in Europe, with with Europe, maybe not. I'm not sure about you guys in Finland, but in like uh, Western Europe, not Northern Europe, like Western Europe, like Germany, England, um, and places like that, France maybe. Um, cheese, we have really good cheese, good quality cheese. So stuff like cheese whiz and like cheese in a tube and cheese in a thing. We don't have synthetic cheese. We don't do that. It, it, it's just, it's a bit gross for us. We're, a bit, we're cheese snobs. We're very snobby when it comes to cheese. Like, ugh, don't eat that. We have like proper cheese. So um, I don't know if I will like that. Uh, but could be wrong. It probably might be nice. Is it made with like squeezy cheese or like this type of cheese? Or is it made with actual cheese? Because if it's made with actual cheese, like good quality cheese, I may like it. Or cream cheese. Let me know in the comment section. It's like that. It does. It looks, it looks like, like that like nacho it, no? cheese. <laughs> and obviously you can taste the reindeer a little bit. It's good though. Wow, something new. It's very creamy. Very cheesy. Wow, Give creamy. me one bite. Mm, here. <laughs> it's just like nacho cheese and right? reindeer. <laughs> nacho cheese. Wow. 
It's nacho cheese right there. It's good though. It's guilty. I feel guilty. <laughs> it's yummy though. <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure, you know? Yeah. It might, it might not even be so processed, you but think it tastes like healthy? that. I, I can't <laughs> tell, but it's yummy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. mm. That's interesting food. For me, that's five star food. That's yummy, man. It's very good, but I feel like it. Okay, so it's very yummy, but she just feels guilty because she said it's, it tastes fattening. That's what she's saying. It tastes fattening. But it's like people are scared of eating like creamy stuff. Cream is good, delicious, dairy, creamy. Hopefully, it's made with real cheese. Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully, it's not made with like that squeezy cheese because that'll be gross. Like it, it will block my arteries. Maybe not. Maybe it's it just has that flavor. Yeah. But I'm sure the ingredients is like so natural. I would think so. In a restaurant like this, you wouldn't think it's so processed, but it tastes like cheese whiz mm -hmm. and reindeer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. <laughs> okay, something new. Pretty good. Mm. Dip the rye bread in this. Will be good too. I like dry bread with soup. That's good. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, sure. Dry bread. It's like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. Finished food. Cheese. And reindeer soup. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Finished food. It's nice really interesting. Really, really interesting. I don't think there's anywhere I've seen food like your food. Like the combination of flavors. I just can't wait to try Finnish food because it's unlike. It's unlike any of the f other food in Europe. Really, if I think about it, it's not really like British food, French food. German food, but that's one good, one really good thing about Europe and European food, European cuisine. It's so it's so vast. It's actually incredible. Like if you think of it, Italian food uh, with pizza and pastas and all those types of things, and you think of Spanish food with tapas and paella and all this type of stuff, and then you think of French food with frogs legs and baguettes and all that type of stuff then british food with fish and chips roast dinners swedish food and with meatballs and mashed potato and lingonberry jam and now finished food with all of this stuff it's like oh my god like Euro european food it might be the most what's the word i'm looking for the most has the most variety out of all food in the world apart from asia when I think of a continent, the, the variety of food in Europe is so different in each country. Asia is the only other place I think that rivals European food for diversity. That's the word I was looking for. Diversity. I think, um, I think Asia is the only place that rivals it in that sense. I could be wrong. I haven't actually been to Africa and I know there's a lot of countries in Africa and they have a lot of different types of cuisine. But I feel like they eat very similar in Africa. I don't know. But um, yeah, European food is, is incredible. And I can't wait to try some more. But yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous buildings. All right, so it's not every day you'll see fast food on our channel, but we wanted to try this Esper. particular very Finnish. I've heard about this place as well. I don't know how it's probably in another video, but Hesburg is very popular in Finland. It's like your McDonald's, right? Or is it like your McDonald's? Or would you say it's better than McDonald's? Let me know in the comment section. Fast food chain, because they have something that I can only describe as the Finnish Big Mac. I would describe this place as finish a finished McDonald's. Mac. The entire layout of the restaurant, the French fries even <laughs> look very McDonald's-y. Oh, a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Thicker. But something very familiar. I think I've never seen or been to a Hesburger before, although Ivana says we saw this in Bulgaria. Yes. Maybe oh. I forgot. <laughs> I think we did try it in Bulgaria. I don't think that we have Maybe. a Hesburger in England. But I could be wrong, you know, like these companies are always expanding. And if it's in Bulgaria, it's in another European country, you know, never know, it might be in England. If it's in England, it's probably in London. <laughs> London has like certain places that are, like, I'm like, what? It has like American food chains that are not in the rest of the UK. London has everything, basically. Maybe so. 
The fries good are fries. good. The fries are good, although could use good. a little salt. Salt and ketchup. The ketchup is good, I'll say that. It's a little darker than I expected. Mm -hmm. Kind of dark red ketchup, but very vinegary. Salt and vinegar ketchup fries. That is some good eating right there. <laughs> <laughs> food vlog of fast food french fries. Mm -hmm, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At the very least, the this bed. section can provide a uh, contrast to some of the more traditional, some of the more skillful recipes we've tried, including reindeer and things. Oh. Okay, oh. unique packaging. Uh, See, that is such a finished thing. Guys, honestly. To you, you're like, what do you mean? What's, what's the finished thing? What do you mean, Dwayne? What do you mean this is a finished thing? This right here, this cardboard piece that is keeping the burger together, it's the little things that you guys do. It's like, <laughs> I, love, I love you guys. I, I love finished people. I just feel like you're very practical. Like in the UK, they would just wrap that in that piece of paper. You would take it apart and it would fall apart and it's like whatever. Whereas you guys have thought, no, we're gonna wrap it with a cardboard piece like it's a like it's a cake or something and keep everything together and neat. So good. Anyways, <laughs> continue. Um, what's the strategy here? This is actually quite good to for yeah. transport, you know, it won't fall apart. Like a little crown on my burger. No. I could be wrong, but it's I have like to think Mac. this burger is 100% inspired from the Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> what appears to be Big Mac sauce, very similar. And the double patty with the uh, middle bread. Come on. The middle bread looks quite big, though. That's good. <laughs> the finished Big Mac. Uh, very good. I'm, I'm nervous to give it a star rating because I want to say five stars, but it is fast food, so maybe I shouldn't even qualify for five stars. <laughs> you can have five stars for fast food. Why it's not? Good. It's a good burger. I'm very familiar. It's got the same sort of sauce, which is like the Thousand Island uh, salad dressing. Same sort of lettuce. It really is a finished Big Mac. Really? So it's mm. a finished Big So is, is, is Hesburger as popular as McDonald's in Finland? How many branches do you have in Finland? It looks like a Big Mac. It's like... Can they actually do that? Like copy McDonald's? Is it because, did they create it because there wasn't uh, many McDonald's in Finland at one point? Do you have McDonald's? In, I'm, I'm guessing you do have McDonald's in Finland. Wait, do you have McDonald's in Finland? I'm just assuming you do, but let me know. If you, if you don't have it, then that makes sense why you would have a Hesburger because it's like your version of it. But do you have McDonald's in Finland? I think they definitely have it in Sweden. Let me know. I was curious. I was curious to know. Really good. So which one is better? It's been years yeah, since I had a Big Mac. <laughs> I would say it's the same. We don't eat fast food very much. We don't usually eat fast food. But we but make we... an exception for For Hesburger, which is uniquely Finnish. Started in Finland and then since has expanded. Yeah. Um, wow. Five star burger. <laughs> no, I've never had a Big Mac. You never had a Big Mac? No. You want to please try. Please try. Never had a Big Mac. Okay. This is one his first ever Big Mac or well, finished Big Mac. Finished Big Mac. Hesburger Big Mac, not the McDonald's one. It's very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> it has a very. I like that. That was another It's sauce. good, right? It has a very fast food taste. It doesn't taste like something really healthy. It's like a guilty pleasure. But mm, when it hits the tongue, it's like. It's there, is a, there is a satisfaction. What does she get then? Yeah. Now, I ordered the double cheeseburger. Okay. Which again, looks very McDonald's-y. That looks good. Yeah. It looks like McDonald's. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't got a lawsuit through from McDonald's to like sue them for like creating exactly the same food. It looks exactly the same. To be fair, I guess, I guess most like burger joints have a similar vibe. Sim but this is very McDonald's. Even the, the bread buns are exactly the same. Hmm. Yeah, sauce, patties. Listen, cheese. for anyone who's ever said that North America has no culture, everywhere you go, they're, they're, they're ripping off American <laughs> culture. <laughs> it's a modern and maybe not so deep culture, but it is world famous. <laughs> Different sauce. Okay. This one you got more pickly taste. Okay. You got pickle. Okay. Yeah, like the McDonald's, like the mean, McDonald's burger. It looks yummy, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
There you have it, guys. Quick, it's similar to McDonald's. Fast food review here on our channel. Uh, something different. Hess yeah. burger. Very good. I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, the food vlog continues. What do you say? Hess burger or McDonald's fries? They're both good, but I think I prefer McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries is just Ma a classic. It's, I, everyone prefers McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries just do very well when it comes to ratings of fries. They just do. Like McDonald's fries are better than KFC fries. They're better than Burger King fries. They're better than most fries. They're just kind of the gold standard when it comes to fast food fries. Although I quite like the fries in Five Guys. I don't know if you've ever been to Five Guys. Maybe you don't have one in... You probably don't have one in Finland. Five Guys. If you're ever in the UK... Or in America, try Five Guys. Their burgers are, their fries are. It's very simple. They just do burgers and fries. They don't do anything else. I don't think there's any, like, there's no starters. There's no, like, side dishes. There's nothing else. They do burgers and they do fries. <laughs> and that's it. And they're very, it's very good. Iconic fry. And it's addictive. And it's addictive. <laughs> These are almost more like uh, Burger King. A little bit thicker, no? Yeah. Mm. But still good. Okay, With extra fries. salt and extra ketchup, no problemo. Mm. <laughs> All right. Oh, Where's there it is. Fortune. I was just speaking about this in part one. If you haven't seen part one, you need to watch part one as well as part two of this. Because I'm, I'm guess I've split it into two because it's a very long video. This soup. <laughs> Delicious absolutely beautiful that is this is what i want to try when i come to finland in fact it might be like one of the first things i seek out maybe after i seek out the cinnamon bun this will be like the first thing i want to try uh for dinner yeah your soup it looks delicious for today is the salmon soup this is the famous salmon soup everyone is talking about when you go to finland you must have this dish listen when i think salmon I don't think soup. Soup. What do you think? Oh, grilled salmon grilled or just salmon. or sushi or just raw or cooked. <laughs> this is a bit it's a bit confusing to me. Really? But I'm salmon? I would imagine it's good because so far our trip has been full of good food. Yeah. But salmon soup? Salmon with potatoes and it looks like creamy. So let me just try the soup. We'll see, we'll see. I shouldn't pass judgment before I try, but let's see. Tastes very creamy, tastes very salmony, like salmon flavor with dill. Tastes very dill flavor. Creamy dill fish soup. Quite nice actually. It's a big chunk of salmon actually. Yeah, true, right? It's a, it's a good size uh, salmon, salmon yeah. piece that you can really sink your teeth into. So let me cut it because it's too big for me. Mm. Very good. Salmon itself, the fish, it's already creamy, right? When you eat salmon, it's a little bit creamy. It's not like just another white fish, you know what I mean? Mm. And it's pink, actually. It's not white. So the soup is very creamy to me. I, I like it. Wait. It's very good. I just can't wait until I try this soup. I just know. It's just... I know it's banging. You know, you, you just know. You can look at it and just know it's good. Cream, salmon, potatoes, dill. What is there not to like? I could eat this every day actually. I really like it. Really? Yeah. You should try it, it Steve. And all, of course, they serve it with rye bread. Oh, it's dark. With butter. I think you put the butter. Pitch black rye bread. I don't know if the butter you're supposed to put it in the soup or in the bread. I love that the butter is <laughs> really soft though. Wow. Actually, this is the best rye bread I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from you, who has typically been a bread hater. It's very good. It tastes a little bit burnt and sweet. But mm. salmon soup though. Mm. Very That's good. for you. I tell you what, Ivana. Do you want to try? I'm feeling good and I don't need to try salmon soup today. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? No, try the soup, mate. Come on, you've made, you're making a video and you're in Finland and you're not going to try salmon soup. Even though he likes salmon. Come on, try the soup. Don't be that. I, I won't be very happy if you don't try the soup. 
No need. Because you don't like fish? I like fish, but I'm ready for meatballs instead. <laughs> okay. Meatballs like is fish. my kind of jam. Meatball is coming. Meatballs, yeah. Very good soup. Five stars. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. welcome back to another episode of... Yeah, that looks good. Uh, meatballs is very Swedish, no? But I would imagine because you're a country that borders Sweden and has a lot of history with Sweden, that you would have some similar food. Like, you both love lingonberry jam. Meatballs, I'm not surprised. And you both have cinnamon buns. I'm not surprised that there's meatballs in your in your cuisine as well. Um, it's just like England and Scotland. Like, we have crossovers in food, like, all over. So, yeah, makes sense. Sort of. Ivana, your food stinks. So, Ivana's got... What is that? This is fish, oh, obviously. Oh, like fish. It looks to be... It's like a crispy, I feel like I've had that before. I had a sort of fried little fishes, little fishes that are really fried and crispy and delicious. I almost know what that's going to taste like. Looks good. What's your Bigger meal? than anchovy, but smaller than and sardine. And the entire fish. Yep. And very, very fragrant, let's <laughs> say. Uh, now, I've ordered something called Finnish meatballs, which... Don't be confused by Swedish, Swedish meatballs. meatballs. Uh, very famous and also commonly consumed at IKEA in Canada. All right. These are meatballs, which are okay, a little bit hard to cut, uh, with some orange sauce and mashed potatoes in the bottom. Potentially very good. First of all, when you put the knife through the meatball, it's very dense. It's very hard to cut through. Not like Italian meatballs where it falls apart in the tomato sauce, right? But I hate to say this, it does remind me of Swedish meatballs Swedish that meatballs. I've had in Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it, well, you, of course, like you're gonna, you're gonna share like a recipe. Like, you, I mean, you're very similar. You're bordered with each other. There's actually people in Finland that speak Swedish. I mean, you, you know, you, you, you siblings. So your meatballs are gonna be similar. Makes sense. <laughs> In this particular restaurant with the eight euros beer is definitely better quality than the ikea in canada mm -hmm. but it is familiar to ikea meatballs mm. Mm. this is very good and the meatballs are um very dense it's almost hard to get your fork through them and to cut it is like uh it's like meatloaf, but really thick. Look how thick it is. Yeah. Not like a very uh, soft, melt in your mouth meatball. It's uh, dense. dense. Right, right. Den it's very dense, isn't it? It's very binded, a binded meatball rather than ground beef. You know, like when you try to make, I don't know if you've ever tried to make a meatball, well, you probably have, but with like ground beef. If you don't have a binding agent, like egg or something, it'll just crumble apart. But that looks like it's like a full-on dense meatball. Looks delicious. Looks great. Dense meatball very nice. with the mashed potatoes. Listen, it's very good. I really like it. I'll even say five-star food. But I feel bad even <laughs> comparing star. it to IKEA. <laughs> and other than salmon, another thing that is famous here in Finland Crispy is this fish. Fendus fish. Which is kind of like a small fish, fresh. That's a lot of fish to put on there. <laughs> That's a good, good serving of fish. I think it's, I, I predict it's a salty, crispy fish. When, when, when you chew it, it all just kind of crumbles into like a fish paste in your mouth. That's what I predict, just from looking at it. Fresh water, but yes, it smells very strong. <laughs> Yeah, it smells strong. So let's try it. I think it's fried. And it's I'm not sure fried. if I'm supposed to just eat it in one shot. Yeah. Or is there like small little bones? No, you eat that. Let's see. This must be a fish native to the Baltic Sea or the region at the very least. Yeah. Tastes like a little bit like anchovy fresh. Smells like anchovy, yeah. to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I don't think Steve will like this. I was gonna say, based on the smell, <laughs> it seems unlikely. Now, you're eating the entire thing, which means yeah. you're eating the bones, the bones and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, you can eat the bones actually. Small enough where you eat the head to tail, everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like a little fish. I've had those fishes that it's just so soft that everything just mushes. It just crumbles. It's not going to get kill you. Because <laughs> some fish, especially some fried fish, you got to be careful eating that. I've, if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever had a fish bone stuck in your throat, it's the most scary thing ever. I have had that happen to me one time. I had like some fish at my grandma's house because in like Caribbean cuisine, my family are Caribbean. My grandma made me some fried fish. I ate the fish. A bone got stuck in my throat. Thought I was going to die. My grandma was like, chill out. Because, you know, she's from Jamaica. And she was like, have this, uh, basically it was like bread. You have bread, it pushes it down. And it was fine. But it was scary. So um, I appreciate a fish that doesn't have any bones that are going to kill me. Yeah, because I think if you eat, like, piece by piece, it will take you a million years, right? <laughs> right. But I don't mind it, actually. I don't mind Similar it. Similar to, like... You don't really want to have a, a, a dish for dinner and be like, uh, oh, I don't mind it. You want to be like, mmm, this is delicious. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, I don't mind it. It's okay. The... I mean, I'm from Indonesia originally, before our family moved to Canada. And we have this kind of like small fish. And it tastes just like this, but uh -huh. except we eat it with rice and sambal and... Sure. You know, all that stuff. But here you eat it with mashed potatoes and this cream little thing. Yeah, it really does look like... You guys love mashed potatoes. Uh, that's one thing I will say. <laughs> Thins and Swedes, you love mashed potato. I feel like... You were a potato in a, in a past life. <laughs> I love potatoes as well. I can't, I can't lie. We also love a good potato in the UK. And Ireland especially, they love potatoes. So yeah, I think potatoes... It, potatoes are very European, you know. Potatoes are very European. Very Western in that sense. Um, because in like Asia, you, you rarely get a potato. Like potatoes not in any... It's not really in much, much of the cuisines in Asia. Um, maybe like if you get like a Masaman curry in Thailand and there's some potato in that, but potatoes are not used that often here. Um, but potatoes is like a big thing in the UK, whereas in Asia, like rice is the thing. It's interesting. Love, I love mashed potato though. Like sour uh, cream or something? Cross between sardines and oh, garlic. Anchovy. Garlic sauce, very good. And garlic sauce mm. in the bottom. Yeah. yeah, good, Ivana. Very good. I will try one, honestly. This, I'm more curious to try this. Really? Yeah. Okay, try it with Because you're sauce. eating the tail and the fins and everything. Try it. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious. With garlic sauce, I mean, I do love garlic. <laughs> try I love it. that he's trying it. The smell is pretty anchovy. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Fishery. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> the chef has done a great job and the recipe is good, but I grew up for 27 years. I never ate one thing from the ocean. Yes. Wow. They just started eating salmon probably maybe three years ago. Yeah, recently. <laughs> so this is something new for Steve. Anchovy is absolutely inedible for me. Sardine is manageable. This is somewhere in the middle. I could eat that, but somewhere it's, in the middle. it's not quite for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it. Forgot to put the lemon. Actually. Yeah, he doesn't like fish. Uh, fish for me, as someone from Britain, love a fish. <laughs> love a fish. Someone from an island. I mean, Great Britain is an island. Um, so fish is understandably on the menu. And my grandparents are from another island, a smaller island. So as you can imagine, fish is on the menu. I'm, I'm a big fan of fish. I like fish. <laughs> oh, the lemon might help, yes. to be clear. The lemon might really help. It's a huge portion. Wow. It is a big portion. That's yes. a this is kind of like, this is your regular fish and chips kind of thing. Well, it's funny because that's like a good, I would say it's two dozen fish there. You probably get 24 fish on that plate. Wow. Mm. It's a lot. I kind of like it. Something new, something new because it's that's good. a lot. You know what? The fish on its own, it's a little bit strong taste. But when you mix it with the sauce, the garlic potato. sauce, and the mashed potato, it's like a really good combination. Mm. Very good. Okay, there you have it. Mm -hmm. uh, another traditional and typical Finnish food. 
don't like this. I would say this is maybe four stars. <laughs> I like this salmon <laughs> soup better. That's good. You're, but you're this nice. is still good. So we saw this in the grocery store. We didn't know what it was, and so many comments came that? in and said, not only is this delicious, but this goop here is not corn as we had originally guessed. It is in fact cloudberry. Cloudberry. This is a real life. Oh, what is that? I have never seen this. Is it a fruit? I don't know what that is. Who? Do you know what's really interesting? I, I, I just like, I would love to know who was the first person to be like, ooh, look at this really pretty plant. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> like our ancestors. They really like went out there and tried all these plants. Like half of it, most plants will kill you if you eat them, you know. I don't know how someone found that. Well, no, a lot of people must have died for us to know what was edible to eat. I'm telling you now, because I had looked at that and my initial thought would be like, that's poisonous. Life Crazy. thing that grows in cold weather. I guess we have it in Northern Canada too, but I must live too far south. Mm. And so I guess the cheese bread, the cheese bread is just cheese, to be honest. And it comes from the milk from a cow at a very specific part of their life. I think it's just after they give birth to a calf. <laughs> so it's oh got a God. unique flavor to it. Interesting. For me, it's very good. I would, I would eat it. Wait, if it's, Again, if it's the... just after they've given birth to a calf, then that milk must be very nutritious, right? Because it's got all the nutrients for the, the calf. Again. Really? Very good. The cloudberry is like jam, sweet jam. Wow. And the cheese is just nice. So for me, five star food would eat again and again. Cloudberry is almost like raspberry plus honey. Oh, oh. that's how that I describe it. Good. It's honey raspberry. That's how I describe it. And the cheese is just just good cheese that looks like it's been kind of burned with a torch almost. You're gonna love it. Mm. It is squeaky. Almost can make you hear like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a squeaky cheese, like a rubbery cheese, like almost like a halloumi. That's what I'm thinking she means. Really? Is it? <laughs> eat your, eat your, eat your. But this one is softer, so it's not that bad. Normally, I don't like that squeaky sound. Sometimes you also get it in like when you eat green beans, when did it's you, not cooked properly. Did you actually hear the squeak? Or did you imagine the squeak? I can't feel it against my teeth. Okay. <laughs> Some people call it squeaky cheese. It's good though. Squeaky cheese. And cloudberry, wow. It's very sweet. I don't know if they eat, they add cloud sugar. Berry. I think they do because it's jam. Yeah. yeah. They definitely add sugar. Um, cloudberry, you yeah, have never ever heard of a cloudberry. Um, yeah, so many things, so many different things I've just never, I've never tried before. This is so exciting to, to yeah. try. It's it. like there's no sourness. It's just sweet. It's Good, not right? sour at all. It's not like blueberry or lingonberry. It's a little bit sour. Cloudberry is just sweet. True, right? Yeah, there's no sourness. Sweet, almost like honey, right? Thick, almost like sweet. honey. Yeah. Honey with seeds. Big fan. Yeah. Big fan. Pretty good. Something new. Yeah. Added. Oh, is that done? To the list of new and unique dishes here in Finland. Right. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that was a long video, so I split it into two. Hope you enjoyed both the videos. The food looks delicious. I didn't know you had that much variety of food. Like, let me know if all the food in this video, let me know if that is all traditional food. I need to save this video so that when I do go to Finland, I make sure I try as much of the food that they've tri tried in this video um, while I'm there because it looks really, really good. Like, really good. Really good. <laughs> so good. And like I said, all that salmon, now I want to get salmon out of the freezer and cook that because I've got two salmon fillets. I love fish food. Fish food? Seafood. <laughs> fish food. <laughs> Seafood. Um, yeah, so I can't wait. Ah, oh, I can't wait to try the finished food. Looks good. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.